This is it. We're walking into Kabul city. We don't seem to have any problems around us. Uh, there's only people that are friendly and are saying, chanting, I'm afraid, kill the Taliban. But we, as we understand it, as we walk in here, there aren't going to be that many Taliban. This was the route that we took on that extraordinary day with thousands upon thousands of people pouring out to greet us and thank us for being there. But to be absolutely honest, I can scarcely recognize this now because none of these buildings were built at the time. They've all sprung up in the last 20 years. And during that time, the outside world has, of course, pumped enormous quantities of money into Afghanistan. The trouble is that directly the Taliban arrived in power the economy collapsed, and the effects on ordinary people will be horrific. In the surroundings of the Intercontinental Hotel in the center of Kabul, we caught sight of a group of Arab and Pakistani Taliban trying desperately to escape the vengeance of the people of Kabul. A group of soldiers is hunting them down. The extraordinary thing is that precisely the same sort of people that we saw being arrested and taken away as prisoners then are now back in charge of the country. The problem that the Taliban have is that they've spent the last 20 years fighting a guerrilla war in the mountains and towns of this country. And they haven't had any contact with government whatsoever. Now, at a stroke, they've just stepped from guerrilla warfare to government. Suddenly you don't have to wear a beard anymore if you don't want to. Shaving is a way of demonstrating your liberation. So is showing your face in public if you're a woman. And there's one thing more. Children can fly kites again. Freedom's in the air here. And so it was for 20 years until President Biden decided to pull his troops out and the Taliban came back. Are the Taliban different this time? Well, there is greater personal freedom, you can see that, but terrible things are happening in other parts of Afghanistan. It's not clear who's in charge here yet. But the basic question is, are they just putting on a smiley face for the international community, or have they really changed? And on the answer to that question, everything here depends.